Adding editing features to a grid view control is a simple matter of adding a field. But adding editing features to a list view control requires a lot more work, as you'll see in this lesson. To begin, open the Market Trader project from your Sample Files folder. And open quoteadmin.aspx in source view if it isn't open already. Now remove the alternating item template tag from your list view control. To do this, delete everything from alternating item template to end alternating item template, including the tags themselves. The list view control doesn't need an alternating item template, so removing it makes things simpler. Next, you're going to add an editing button. Find the item template tag. Now add the following code after the last end td tag inside the item template tags. td asp colon button id equals edit button run at equals server command name equals edit text equals edit this code adds a new column to the item template containing a button control. Notice the command name property. You may remember using this property in the row command event of the grid view control. The list view control has an item command event, which works in the same way as the row command event of the grid view control. However, the edit command is a special command that will be automatically recognized without needing to add any code. Test your code now by viewing quoteadmin.aspx in your web browser. When the page loads, click one of the edit buttons. The list view control switches to edit mode and the edit item template is displayed. Close your web browser now and return to Visual Studio. In Lesson 7-9, you added a drop-down list control to a grid view control's edit item template. Your list view control can do the same thing using exactly the same code. Scroll down to your grid view control's code now and copy all of the code between the grid view controls edit item template tags, but not the tags themselves. Now scroll up to the list view controls edit item template tag, select the code for the market text box control, and paste the copied code so that it replaces the selected code. Now view the page in your web browser again, and click one of the edit buttons. Your modified edit item template is displayed. The drop-down list control appears on the right-hand side, allowing you to change this record's market. This list view control is still nowhere near as presentable as the grid view control that you worked with in Lesson 7-9. It would take a lot of effort to reformat this list view control to look exactly the same as the grid view control, but it is certainly possible using the skills that you've learned in the last two lessons. 
close your web browser now and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 711. Add editing features to a list view control.